an uh, additional PGR player in addition to Zenodo with Day. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. 45 entrants complement the skill level here today at NHS, so we have a lot of great matches coming up for you guys. Oh yeah. And we get deeper into bracket, we'll start to see things unwind, but we're gonna start off here with Jose Cuervo. And a player I don't reckon. LK, LKT. Okay, I do. I've heard that name before, actually. I have two. I think he's MSU. Hmm. I, I could be wrong about that, but I believe he might be from the center of the state in okay. Lansing. But I could be wrong. But regardless, he's an Ike man. Uh, that much is apparent. So in the early going here, these two sorties duking it out right now. So far, Jose with the early advantage state here, just kind of keeping LK in the corner here, not really allowing him. To find, you know, you got to take that. Good awareness from Jose to get the back air. Oh, oh no! No, okay. Well, oh, I, li I like minute. that. Uh, I like that get up option too. Are you talking about uh, corn? Yeah, I think um, LKT was a little confused as to like what to do because um, he might have halted for a second, thinking that Jose has need, and uh, Jose chose a very quick and aggressive option to get off the ledge. So, uh, just making the most of that poor situation. <laughs> It was time and time again the pin, such a devastating move on the ledge. Um, regardless, and all that just to complement Korn's plethora of other offensive options she can take at the ledge uh, gives her uh, an easier path Ooh. to getting back on stage. But what a back air from Jose. Catching Ike's jump off ledge. So good job catching out that option. Yeah, something you've always got to, oh my goodness. That's something you always have to look out for is those, uh, those early, or those high recoveries when people try to force the recoveries because it, it, it really does get tedious, like recovering to the ledge over and over and over, but sometimes you just have to do it because otherwise stuff like that happens. It really puts you to the test and how well you can mix up your options. And LKT doing a great job of continuously putting Jose in a bad spot here, but Jose going to make it back. I like how the use of his nair right there, a very quick option that covers Korn's body in its entirety, allowing him to get back to stage safely. Oh, yeah, and it sets up into so much. Uh, one nair from Korin converts into so much damage, uh, sometimes even a kill. And uh, I, LK, uh, we've seen LKT kind of struggle in neutral this set, but I actually really like how he's playing advantage. Ooh, called out that, uh, I think that was an initial dash, but um, called out an aggressive option from Jose and uh, chose an equally aggressive option to combat it. LKT cleaning up the stock and we find ourselves back in neutral here, but Jose Cuervo still working with a sizable lead, but we've seen improvement in the neutral from LKT, and he really is starting to space a little bit better. We see him just continuously putting out fares and uh, looking for his openings here, but looks like Jose has complete dominance of the stage right now. Okay, T's got to find a way off this platform. Cool. Jeez, that counter is, uh, its range is deceptive. Yeah, luckily for LKT, that was only a jab. Mm -hmm. It could have been a whole lot worse. All right, I respect the option trying to get the pin. Yeah, that was a real good reversal. He waited a long time. Very Just patient. Changing up his times as well. Oh, he challenged that. That was scary, but I think he was pretty aware that Jose was trying to fully charge it uh, to threaten shield, so good stuff. But his priority is very low and can be broken up with a lot oh, yeah. of uh, a lot of the, the cast moves here, so Ooh. no surprise there. I'm not sure LKT meant to spot dodge there. Maybe not. But regardless, he's going to get a dash tech in. Yeah, if you have uh, some sort of long range or powerful option out of dash, definitely make sure to uh, take full advantage of it against Instapin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you can to catch her. Obviously, you want to you want to discourage Jose from really throwing that out too much. And uh, the more he does it, the more uh, more hastily, the more he can get punished for it. Yep. All right, LKC trying to bait something out. Jose goes for the grab and. Uh, Definitely takes the bait there as LKT is able to hit that back air and take the first game. Uh, a little bit of a rough start from him, but we really saw him clean that up in the second stock. Yeah, so what do you think uh, Jose can do here? Because we saw he had a really hot start, right? He was in the lead. He had taken that first stock, and he looked like he was in control, and LKT looked like the uncomfortable one, but then things turned around quite quickly yeah, as LKT found his groove. What do you think uh, Jose is looking for in game number two? I think the name of the game is Patience. Um, we saw a lot of the time uh, Jose was winning neutral initially because he was kind of waiting out these space fairs. He was um, figuring out the right times to uh, get his rolls in and kind of escape LKT's pressure. And as that uh, went on, you kind of saw him getting impatient, um, like with that, that grab at the end of game one. So uh, I feel like if Jose can stay calm 
and uh, remain kind of on the defensive, then we may see better results in the future. Yeah, and these two taking a lot of hits right back and forth. He's going to land that pin. Nice chase. Of course, he didn't text. So he was able to get the nair and lands into a back air. Clean conversion from Jose, making good use of that missed opportunity. Another pin to send him back off stage. So Jose finds himself in the same position he did last game, where he was continuously pushing LKT into the corner. And of course, covering the roll right there with the pin. So we're seeing him cover a lot of good ground here, and that's what Foreign does very well. Drop down there, and then continue to keep him off. Looks like Jose really just throwing out a lot of quick options here, catching LKT's approach. LKT struggling to get in right now. Another pin is going to nail him. Yeah, I like how Jose is playing right now um, with these kind of uh, defensive baits into safe offensive pressure. He'll often uh, do something. Oh my gosh, that was uh, that was bold. Yeah. Uh, he'll he'll do things like roll back. Like there, he rolled back twice, um, just a moment ago, and then. Uh, when LKT finally tried to run in and punish the uh, the next roll, uh, he just threw out that, that insta pin. And there wasn't too much risk to it either, so um, just really solid uh, corn play. He's hitting a lot more pins than the previous game, and the reason for that is you see how much LKT is just kind of running in blindly, really not taking his time and trying to bait himself. Right. And now he, he finds himself, like he, he feels like he has to make the first move. He's finding himself in that pressure spot where he, he's not, you know, properly spacing. He's, you know, making some bold moves, and, and Jose's really making him pay for it. Right, it's that patience that's uh, ultimately paying off for Jose now. All right, safe pressure from Jose as Ike really lacks the mobility to chase down that pin in the right situation, and he's just continuously pinning right now, covering so much ground. LKT's on the edge. He's tried that three times in a row, and it has not worked a single time. Yeah, that's yeah. no adjustment no, there. Yeah. <laughs> That, that needs to stop. Well, what's sad is he could have conditioned him forward as well because he had tried it a couple times. If you if he starts charging the F-Smash on the ledge, you know LKT's going to want to roll in. Right. No, I, I understand the idea. Like, it can, um, it'll hit roll. But, and, but he and didn't the, do it, though. The saw blade yeah. charge will catch uh, neutral getup, too. But, like, the thing is, LKT is waiting on the ledge. He's not doing an instant getup. And so uh, picking an option where you kind of have to guess... Um, like what exact time he's going to get off the ledge is difficult. And if we can see Jose continue to just let him be patient on the ledge, we could see a pin that could clip him later right, on right. in the game, Corrin, which is going to be good, good conditioning. Corin has no issue dealing with characters that hang on the ledge. It's just Jose's uh, not picking up on um, the more patient game, I think. All right, now we're seeing LKTs. He's doing the same thing he did previously last game. Now he's really starting to slow the pace of the game down, really looking for his openings here. Now, that was very smart, and you know, we know that Jose has been using the pin. That is his go-to option on the ledge. Mm -hmm. But we see LKT choose the jump option, um, got that up cleanly. So he's certainly making the right adjustments here to slowly but this surely bring this back. Ooh, good high recovery from Jose. He knew exactly what was coming. Right, very guys. tempting, considering that's what took the, uh, the previous stock. All right, he used roll-on quite a bit, but he continues to mix up his options just enough to keep Jose guessing. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Jose may not have the option to recover high. Okay, he, he definitely does, higher than counter at least. Now that Jose is comfortable with recovering high, we could see it once more, but this time we could see a call out. Yeah, we could definitely see some sort of maybe There like it is again, option. and he yeah. gets it. I, w I wouldn't have gone for it the third time, personally. No. But uh, yeah, yeah. L LKT has that scouted out, and he's going to take that. Two very close games there, uh, definitely one of those. <laughs> One of those sets where the 2-0 doesn't really tell the whole story because those were two insanely close games, but uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. In the end, it seemed like LKT had just the right adjustment.